Yeah, strange indeed, and that was a very good comeback there by Megan. Uh, it looked like Todd had put that one away, but she nailed those last three clues, and now she's in contention. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and uh, a lot took me back tonight. That minesweeper question reminds me of the first computer that I ever had ready access to a Packard Bell that ran, I think, Windows 3.0 or 3.1, and Minesweeper was the game to have. Click, 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 and then the happy face would turn into a frowny face and had X's over his eyes. It was hilarious. The graphics are so good. Anyway, we have a game here. Todd, 16-6, Megan, 10-4, Bill, 6,000. You'll notice that that is barely less than the difference between Todd and Megan. So he is out of contention. And you'll also see that Megan has less than two-thirds of Todd's total. So this one's easy. Megan, just wager everything. Todd's going to have a tight range. You can wager in uh, 66, uh, I'm sorry, 28, so that's 4201. And Bill doubles up 12,000, so that's 4,645.99. Along the lines of taking me back, that Grey Poupon clue. Man. Did you pass the Grey Poupon from one limousine to another? Man, early 90s were so great, weren't they? I know, right? Uh, oh, and I learned one other thing tonight. <clears throat> Don't ever watch the interviews while you're eating because I was eating some chips when Bill did that Donald Duck thing and I almost choked. <clears throat> uh, that was good. All right, we're going to fast forward and uh, do this obituary. Come on, you stupid remote. You need to get the right angle on it. I don't know what's going on here. Just what you came to see, right? Uh, wait, wait, let's do it. Me fiddling with the remote that I should be able to control much more easily. Here's the clue. On his death in 2015, his New York Times obit said, he built his stardom 90% on skill and half on wit. 30 seconds, folks. Good luck. Don't worry, I'll change it to the past tense. Doesn't add up. What was the quote that he... Well, I mean, a lot of quotes. I mean, no, was he one half Irish, one half German, one half Italian, something like that? I can't remember. That's a clever obituary line. Non secretaries like baseball is 90% mental. The other half is physical. Oh, uh, yeah, that line too. I think that was someone else who said that line. Play the right idea. Please wager zero. Okay, that works. Who is everything, please? Oh, a big wager, leaving you with just one buck. Let's go to Todd now. Our champion had sixteen thousand six hundred, and that total will go up if he wagered anything. And he did, 4201, goes up to $20,801 Alright, good work, Todd. So you've broken the $50,000 mark, but tonight was our 100th consecutive game without a five-time champion. Matt Jackson was the last on October 14th of last year. So it's been five and a half months since we've had one of those. And tomorrow we're going to tie the record with 101, and on Friday we're going to break it. And Todd, technically, I guess, could snap the streak on Monday if he keeps winning. He did well tonight. Almost had to put away, and uh, he's a good player. I got some good feelings about him. But we'll have to see what he does tomorrow, at which time I hope you will join me right here on the final wager. <laughs>